Hey guys, it's Legomatic9, and today I'm doing a little different video, and this video is a showcase of all of my 501st customs from LEGO, uh, LEGO Star Wars 501st customs that have been seen throughout various episodes in the Clone Wars uh, TV series, which has been cancelled. If you guys didn't know that, the TV series has been cancelled, uh, so uh, we won't be seeing any more of that except for uh, the uh, unreleased episodes that will be released shortly, I don't know when or where, I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, this video is just a showcase of these figures in a better quality. I already made videos of these figures several times before, but now that I have this new camera, well new kind of to you guys, uh, I'll, I'm going to show you guys like better quality videos of my customs. Uh, so this one is just going to be of the 501st figures I have. I also make Walking Dead, a few Walking Dead ones, which you guys will love. Then I have uh, maybe some other Star Wars ones. But here's Lego's 501st Trooper. So I'll just move him out of the way. And I guess we'll just start with my 501st Trooper. Uh, hopefully these show these showcases will be short. But uh, so here's my 501st Trooper. Sorry if you guys kind of see this weird tint. Uh, on him for some reason he's kind of showing up a little orange uh, but he is white so I apologize for that I don't know why it's doing that that weird tint I mean because I have these white light bulbs they should be uh, helping out with that but uh, anyway so here is my 501st trooper isn't really all that uh, great uh, on these figures you will know that these lines on the side of their helmets will be terrible because I was dumb and I didn't really paint those very smartly or you know it was just kind of terrible then he's still got arm decals I didn't really feel like peeling them off to paint them on because this figure is pretty old uh, so there's the 501st trooper he's got a brick arms gun too so there's the 501st trooper uh, next we have is Sergeant Apo uh, so he's just the same thing as the 501st Trooper, except he has the uh, the white arrow on the top of his helmet. Uh, so, you know, there's him. I'll give you a 360. There you go. Isn't all that spectacular. Uh, next figure up, we have, I guess we'll do this one. Now, this figure, well, this character was only previewed for a short time. This is my... Uh, my 501st Jetpack Trooper, I actually really like this figure, I just love the design. So once Clarmy Customs comes out with their version of this, I'm going to buy it, like, quickly, because I just love the design of the figure that, uh, that, you know, they came up with, and I just really love it. Uh, so, you know, I'll probably pick it up once it, once pictures are released. Now, do, I do realize that, you know, there's some unevenness. That's because this custom is pretty old, and it's been through wear and tear of being dropped and uh, posed and stuff in various mocks. Uh, so he's just got a brick arms weapon, then he's got a painted jetpack. Uh, I've had this figure for a long time now. I've had him since, like, November. I uh, just don't think I've showed you guys. Then he's just got, you know, the painted legs and everything, so a lot of these customs will be kind of uh, uneven. They won't be that great because they are older, and the blue paint that I use scratches very easy. Uh, so I have to be careful with a lot of these guys, so there will be some little nicks and stuff everywhere. But, uh, yeah, and then he's got the, you know, the red on the his breathers, then the red weird shape up there. I know that's kind of not really that great, but, you know, whatever. Okay, so next figure up we have, I guess I'll move to Dogma. So here's Dogma. Uh, as you can tell, you know, legs aren't that great. Neither are the arms. Arms are kind of terrible because these are just when I started doing fully painted arms like this. Before I just used to do a stripe, but now I got into the actual detail of it. Uh, so, you know, there's Dogma. Nothing all that spectacular about him. Uh, and he's got, you know, the design up there. So I'll move him. Now, these figures that we're getting into now, here, I'll scratch that we're gonna do hard case first so here's hard case uh, again he's got some really kinda crappy painted arms and legs uh, he's got the brick arms minigun he's got a painted chest here, I'll try to move that down come on give me give me it so uh, there you can see you know painted torso and some painted on the back he's got uh, I think his helmet turned out pretty great uh, isn't really all that uneven anywhere except you know maybe on the top but overall I just really think that it, his helmet came out pretty great now that I'm looking at it 
Uh, so, you know, there's Hard Case. He's pretty good. Now, these figures that you guys have seen, uh, I did a recent showcase, but we'll just get into them now uh, with better detail. So, here's Tup. Uh, he's got, you know, the newly painted arms, which I think turned out great. I just really love how his arms turned out. Uh, the paint, well, not the drop, not the paint drop, just the regular like teardrop. I think they turned out great on both sides. Uh, so there's the other side, and then uh, his helmet turned out pretty, pretty okay. I, mean, I guess it's a pretty good. I guess uh, just the lines on the helmet, yeah, they're terrible. I know that I wasn't good at that because area light, like the their helmet kind of like overhanged a little bit or overhung, like before, like instead of just like curving straight down it like one side would be like jetting out a little bit and I can't really show you guys but uh one side would be jetting out a little bit so it's kind of hard to paint that but then I got smart and I uh and I used uh, an exacto knife and carved that off so there's Tup uh next figure up we have is Jesse and he was recently updated as well what I did to him is that I redid the arms on you know both arms then I also redid the helmet which uh, looks better in my opinion it, before it looked kinda crappy so I redid it um, yeah and then legs again aren't that great there they actually are painted dark blue in the knee pads uh, you guys just can't really see it because it is a like a really dark navy blue there you can kinda see it right there okay so two more figures to go next figure up we have is kicks uh, so there's kicks what I did to him is that I've painted the arms again, uh, you know, repainted them just because the decals look terrible and I just wanted to paint them. I think they turned out the best out of most of them, well, besides fives, but uh, I think the arms turned out the best out of everybody else. I really got the medic symbol pretty good, painted that pretty well. Come on, there you go. And then uh, I got the medic symbol painted on the backpack pretty good, pretty well, whatever grammar uh yeah so you know there's kicks he isn't all that spectacular then uh yeah and then also what i did do is that on the uh on the stripe on the leg i did make it go like onto the side of the leg uh i should have made it go all the way around but uh you know, i will do that soon okay last figure up is my favorite figure well, my favorite custom that i have to date he's just one of my best customs ever and that is fives um Fives just turned out spectacular. Even though his legs look a little rough, that's just the paint I was using. Uh, so I, and then he's got a Cape Madness waist cape and pauldron, which is which just adds to the figure to make him great. He's got a fully painted torso. Well, besides you know the printing under there, but I painted the uh, like the chest pad and the triangles on there, which took me forever. Then on the arms, the arms took me probably some of the most time ever to you know make a custom. Uh, I used the new design on them, then I got, you know, the four different colors right there. I got the yellow, the white, the red, and the green. And then I just got some more gray designs on them, and some more blue. Got the backpack on the back, and then I painted over the helmet. I don't think in my, uh, my other showcase of this figure that I've had the painted helmet, but this one I do. Uh, because the printed area light helmet was alright, just, I just prefer it painted now. Uh, so what I did was that, you know, I painted the entire top of the helmet, uh, just everywhere on the helmet, basically, and then I painted it on the back because Aerolite didn't have printing back there, I don't think, so I had to print back there, and I added those designs on. I just think this figure turned out amazing. Again, sorry that this video is kind of long, nine minutes right now, uh, so sorry about that, but, you know, whatever, I got all these figures done, and next I'll be splitting these videos up into a few probably like four parts probably just better showcasing of my walking dead figures uh, so those will hopefully be my next videos so thanks for watching guys like comment subscribe really means a lot i'll see you guys later